Hello everyone and welcome to how to create your own mind map tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own mind map by using a very helpful and easy going program that is called eDraw Max. This is actually one of the most helpful software because it helps you presenting whatever information or ideas you have in a very attractive and understandable ways, okay? And I'm going to clarify this throughout the video. As you can see, this is the uh, the software icon and once you click it, it takes you directly to the templates that uh, to the front page of the software which consists of the templates of course that you might use in order to start doing whatever thing you have and in addition to that you have actually another options uh, like creating your own mind map uh, which is something great of course like you have to choose whatever samples or whatever sh whatever shapes you want okay but first before doing anything let's start by explaining some fundamental things in the front page like the lists we have here as you can see we have seven lists and these lists are, are also fo found and and in word processors and powerpoints okay so that makes it easy to deal with okay the first list we have here is file and as you can see file includes save some fundamental options actually like save save as open if you have to open an existing document okay if you want to close this one or to print okay whatever you have here okay and for the second list we have the home list okay and as you can see it includes also some fundamental options like creating a new page opening a new existing w an existing one and uh, saving whatever document you have a printing copy paste and also you have here the the format printer which which allows you to copy the format of whatever text or whatever sample you have so you can apply it apply it another one okay and we have the slot here we have the font uh, formats as you can see we have the font styles also we have the the, the size and if you want it pulled italics underlined if you if you got it less to to present or if you if you want to to color the text you have or to highlight the text okay and we have here some basic tools some basic tools like selecting if you want to select the text or select whatever shape you have so you can add some modifications or manipulate whatever you're selecting okay you have the text here we own for some text tools and text block tool and we have the connectors the connectors we're going to use actually the connectors um, after a while but first they are they are used to connect whatever information you have to others okay for example let's say that you have some fixed template and you you've got to add some new information so you can use one of these connectors according to your desire uh, to present this information okay and we have here another connectors and this is lot is for the arrangement of, of whatever templates or whatever sample shapes you have and the styles of course to modify and of course we're going to use all of these through uh, applying okay and we have here uh, here the styles if you want certain styles so apply certain styles and if you want to to fill the samples or fill the shapes or the templates you're choosing okay and insert here we have insert if you want to insert a plank page a new plank page okay uh, to duplicate the page uh, for example this is duplicating the page or okay and we have here uh, here the table if you want to insert some table and uh, it is much like the the word processor okay and we have here some illustrations like if you want vectors or if you want to vector text or font samples or whatever you want and this is word okay if you want to to add some text from word or to write anything in the in, in the word okay uh, and of course we have Excel as well and you have here the graphs or whatever thing you want to add okay for the page layout you have the the size and uh, also you have the page size if you want it a4 or you want it for another page just like in um, whatever whatever purpose you have for making the mind map and we have here the orientation as you can see we have the portrait and uh, we have the landscape okay and the units, uh, the units of the ruler here. If you if you want millimeters, uh, or you want centime centimeters and meters, whatever you want. Okay, but we're going to stick to millimeters. We have here the the, the ruler and the grid. Okay, you have here the option of of, of options uh, of the ruler and the grid. Okay, and we have of course the page margin and the page number if you have many pages. Okay, and we have here the themes. Of course, themes you can apply the themes on whatever styles you've chosen, and the colors of these the themes, the fonts, and the effects. Okay, and the watermark here if you want to add any blurred texts, okay, as a background or nothing. 
okay um, let's move to the view if you want to view the thing from the beginning okay you can you can view the whole thing as you can see I've already applied some stuff okay uh, let's go back to to the normal view okay or if you want the, the background view uh, here it's for show and hide some so some options or uh, tools like rulers uh, grid lines and guidelines and these things and we have here the zoom okay if we have here the zoom okay you can play the zoom and play the, zo uh, the zoom you can uh, you can uh, choose one page to display as one page uh, uh, you can also use the, the web and here we have something called the zoom pan okay once you click the zoom pan you're going to find here a, a very 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 small van okay okay let's choose it again for example this is the whole picture of the document of the document you're applying on for example let's say that you want to show a very specific part of uh, of this document you can just select it okay and the uh, screen goes directly to the part you've selected okay and we have the hands move if you want to move the screen using the hands instead of the normal mouse okay and you have these options which are probably are not that important for us now okay and we have the same pools you have the same pools here if you want to create a new library create library from images um, and other options and also you have drawing tools here if you want to use the pencil if you want uh, to select certain texts okay to modify use the, the pencil so you can use the pencil okay to draw whatever shapes you want and you can use the pen tool okay which goes uh, straight to whatever point you want okay and you can use the anchors of course and add anchors, delete anchors, or convert anchors, and you have other shapes here. And whatever shape you have in here, for example, you want to save, you want to draw this shape, and you want to save it. You can just save sample, okay? Save sample, and you can save it directly to, to the desktop, or to use another thing, or to clarify another thing, okay? And finally, we have here the help the help list which contains some dynamic help some tutorials if you want to to get to know the program and uh, other options okay now let's get started but first we've got to use a plank page okay now this is a new plank page we can hide the zoom pan okay if we go to the file you have two options okay either to choose one of these diagrams of one of these templates okay or to create a new one but first let's choose one of them you have many options you have some basic diagrams you have some business diagrams also and uh, here's the third of course if you have any statistics to present and for engineering if you uh, you are in uh, an engineer and you need some some of these templates and of course we have many others Okay, you have here the maps if you want to add any maps and for the science and the software and the database. Okay, for example, if you if you if you got something to present in a database form, you have the clip art and uh, you have the fashion design. We have some recent templates, okay? And for example, um let's take a template in order to apply for something. Okay, let's say basic diagram. For example, okay, yeah, six steps. Okay, once you click, you double click whatever template you want, it immediately appears in a separate page. So you can add text, you can manipulate whatever you want. Okay, here, as you can see, we have uh, six circles and you have um, some slots to add, about six, yeah for each circle let's say that uh, I only wanted three circles okay what you're going to do with these circles it is easy just a click you can remove it actually okay and we also want to remove uh, 
Okay. You can just delete them. Okay. It's a three now. But it is not kind of that shape. Uh, but don't worry, you can manipulate it very easily. Just move in the circle. Move in the head of the arrow here. Okay, you have here the head of the arrow. You can move it. Actually. Okay. So, as you can see, um, those two circles are perfect. Okay, uh, let's think of a topic and for those checks you can remove them easily. Delete by just selecting them and deleting them. So, you can see how can... Okay, now after deleting all the, uh, the, the additional parts that we don't want, uh, we have now three divisions, three divisions for one main topic, okay? And uh, let's choose, for example, to talk about Cobra. Okay? Uh, choose, whatever, we, we can check the spelling later. Now, Cobra, Cobra can be divided into uh, many divisions or many types according to three things, okay? First of all, according to language. Okay? And second, according to text type. And number three, it is according to the update. Okay, it's according to the update. As you can see, we can check the spelling later. As you can see, we have three main divisions for Cobra. But we, w what you don't know is that for language, we have bilingual, we have mono language Corbus, we have bilingual language Corbus, and we have multi language. And for text type, we have spoken and written. And for the updates, we have open and closed. So how are you going to add all this information? Easy. It is okay. You can go here to 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 arrow shapes if you want to use arrow to to common shapes some common shapes and since we're using circles here we can use uh, these circles okay just the smaller ones okay and we can copy them control C to create another one and paste since according to language we have uh, three main Corpus, Corba, sorry, okay. And according to text type, we have two main. Which are spoken and written, okay. And according to, to the update, we have a three. Oh, two. Sorry, it is two. It's open, class C. You can, you can remove it easily. Okay. As you can see. And here we have mono. Here we have bi. And there we have multi. Okay. And for the text type, we have spoken either spoken or written and for the update it's either open or closed okay closed okay um mainly mainly those are the, 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 the types okay of Cobra and if you want to manipulate for example the background page you have here the background as you can see you can drag whatever background you want for example let's take the black one okay since it's kind of elegant okay and you can play with the colors and go here and uh, from the home home list you can see styles fill it with for example this color okay you can also change the divisions let's say you want here black okay and uh, as you can see we created a very quick mind map and in the end i hope you enjoyed the whole thing and see you in the next video